the special test of the peripheral vascularizia. The first one is the Allen's test, uh, which assesses for radial and ulnar collateral flow. Okay, Jandy, I'm gonna get you to hold up your hand above the level of the heart, and I'll ask the patient to make a fist for 30 seconds, and then apply pressure to both the radius, radial artery and the ulna. I then ask the patient to open their fist, and I release one side expecting color return to the hand within five seconds. I would then repeat the exam covering only the other side. The next test is the Berger test. I will be elevating the patient's leg for 30 seconds, assessing for any pallor on elevation, which would be consistent with arterial disease. I will then ask the patient to sit up and swing her legs over the edge of the bed, assessing for any bruder on dependency, which would be consistent with venous disease. The next test is the brody trendelenburg test, which assesses for valvular competency. I'll start by raising the patient's leg up, and then I would apply a tourniquet to the proximal leg. With the tourniquet on, I'll ask the patient to stand up. Upon standing, I'm assessing for venous refilling, which should occur within 35 to 60 seconds. If refilling occurs quicker than 35 seconds, that is a sign of valvular incompetence. Next, we will be doing the ankle brachial index, which assesses for blood pressure differences between the arm and the ankle. For this test, I will be using a Doppler in the place of a stethoscope. So you start by applying some jelly, then turning the Doppler on. And then I will be locating her brachial pulse. Having located her pulse, I'll now apply a blood pressure cuff to the same side. Get you to raise your arm for me, please. Okay, I will then inflate the cuff to the point that the pulse sound disappears. And then slowly deflate the cuff until the sound reappears. And that occurred at 90 millimeters of mercury. I will now use the Doppler to locate the dorsalis pedis pulse. blood pressure cuff at the ankle. And again, I'll be inflating until I no longer hear the sound. and then deflate until the sound returns. Which in this patient was at 100 millimeters of mercury. You would perform the test on both sides using the higher value in your calculation. In order to calculate the ratio, you would use the systolic blood pressure in the ankle over the systolic blood pressure in the arm with a normal value corresponding to 0.9 to 1.2. Anything greater than 1.2 suggests vessel hardening or peripheral vascular disease. Anything less than 0.9 suggests peripheral arterial disease, with values less than 0.5 suggesting severe arterial disease. Thank you, Jandy, for your time. That concludes the peripheral vascular exam. For more exam videos, see the link below.